All right, so here is how you record voice memos um, on your iPad. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna touch the screen and pull down to bring up the search menu. And you can either type in voice memos or you can see mine is right there. Um, if you don't have voice memos, um, it might uh, get you to download it. It's just a free app. Um, sometimes people delete it off their iPad, sometimes people don't. Um, but you are, you're at this kind of blank screen here. In the bottom right hand or left hand corner, you see the little red dot for recording and that's what you would press. So, all right, it starts recording right away. I'm recording my voice, hello, hello, hello. When I want to stop, either to be finished or just to take a break, I'm gonna hit in the bottom left hand corner the pause button. Now, at that point, if you were just taking a break of like a longer story, you can just click, you know, resume, and then you can keep recording. So maybe you might wanna do it between, you know, chapters of a book or something like that. Um, so you can start and stop if you need a break. Um, so there's all that. Uh, once you're kind of happy with the recording that you've done, or like you've recorded everything you want to, then you would just click in the bottom right hand corner, you would click done. Um, now, this is where you can listen to what you've recorded. So, cause you said you wanted to be able to look at it again. So you would just click play. All right, it starts recording right away. I'm recording my voice. Hello, hello, hello. When I want to stop either to be finished. So there's the place where you can listen to it. Um, if you don't like it, uh, you can see in the top, kind of in the middle there, there's a little garbage can in blue. That would just get rid of it. I recommend, I mean, I wouldn't worry about it if you don't like the sound of your voice. The problem is no one really does. <laughs> your kids will be excited for it, I'm sure. So I wouldn't throw it out just because of that. Um, but uh, when you're ready to send it to them, um, right beside the garbage can, you see the little square with the arrow coming out. That's the share button. You would touch that. And then it gives you options as how you want to share it. I think the way that you would probably be just be doing it would be um, through mail because you're just emailing it to them and you can put in the email of whoever you want to receive this email okay uh, Melissa, okay candy there we go and then the subject you can put the subject of what it actually is so you can say you know new chapter um, something just so they know what it is and or you can put it in the actual body of the email what it is and you can see right there it's already attached so as soon as they get it they'll be able to listen to it and then they can do whatever they want so don't forget you can send it to multiple people so you can send it to all your kids at once um, and just give a little heading so they know what it is it helps organize things and we're done just click the little uh, blue send arrow uh, and that will um, do that for you so hopefully that helps you might have to download the voice memo app if it's not on your iPad already I think I deleted it by accident one time, but I think normally it comes on it. If, it, if you need to download it, I can show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. All right, hopefully that helps.